What's up guys, welcome back for another episode of OU Suspect Test Ladder. Again, of course, Mega Sable Eye, the Sable Knight, is being suspect tested. We got a, a team from our good buddy Jose, who was on yesterday's episode. It's got uh, Mega Garchomp, Tyranitar, plus Excadrill, which is always a nice core. Uh, Rocky Dual Rocky Helmet users, so uh, Tangrowth and Alamomola, and then a defensive Latias, which is kind of cool to use. So uh, let's hop into a game, let's see if we can get a couple of wins. I was trying out a different team that I might bring to you guys later on in the week uh, with DeBlade. Uh, I'm going to change up the team a lot because it wasn't working for me, but I want to build around DeBlade because it, beat, it beats a lot of the big Megas right now. Uh, not this one, clearly. Mega Manectric is something that can beat DeBlade because of Overheat and Flamethrower, but... Um, Pokemon such as Mega Metacham, Deancey, uh, Mega Heracross, um, Mega, uh, Mega Metagross, I don't know if I already said that, no, I said Heracross, Her Heracross and Metagross sound the same, but uh, my opponent has a uh, very scary team, especially because of that Mega Manectric, I kind of just want to lead off with Titar, it matches up pretty decently against most of his members, so let's do that, as we do not get the lead matchup correct, Mazumarill is going to lead off for my opponent, but this is a pretty safe switch to Tangrowth for me, so not too worried. He's just going to go for Play Rough. That looks like banded damage, absolutely. And uh, I don't believe we go down to the next one. It did 47, though, so I'm not going to chance it. I'm just going to switch hard into Alamomola right here. If he wants to go for another Play Rough, he's going to take some more Rocky Helmet damage and uh, some more Sand as well, so that's not too bad. Just got to wait until he actually misses one of these. Uh, let's go for... Um, let's go for Protect, because he takes some more Sand. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll go back into Tangrowth right here as he is going to keep connecting play roughs. I miss, I always miss my first play rough, but he seems to connect them all. And uh, now we're going to go into Excadrill. This Azumarill is extremely weakened. That's kind of what I wanted. As he's going to double into Torn. Okay, so pretty good play uh, because now I'm susceptible to a Heat Wave. But I think Alamomola is my play every time as my opponent is going to go for a knockoff, get rid of our Rocky Helmet, going to take some damage in the process. We are just simply going to go for a Wish. He's going to get a crit on the Hurricane, unfortunately, and knock us out right there. Uh, but now we can go into Titar. We know he's not Life Orb, so we should be able to take a Superpower. Uh, and as well as being able to just fire off a Stone Edge right here. He does go for Superpower. He is not able to knock us out. And uh, Stone Edge is going to clean up this Tornadus, so very nice. We still have our Titar alive as well, which is always good. I'm assuming Landorus is going to come in here. For the, uh, for the Stealth Rocks. Uh, I might just stay in. We'll see. But uh, Zoomerill is looking like a pretty big threat. He actually chooses to go into Manectric, uh, which is a smart play because it can just go for a Volt Switch. Uh, what, I, what I'm actually going to do is go into Tangrowth right here uh, so that I can get some Regenerator back. Uh, it's going to allow him to... He's actually going to go for HPI, so very nice play. Uh, catching my Tangrowth right there. Um, it also caught pretty much anything else I wanted to go out into. But I'm going to go into uh, Excadrill right here. And what we'll do is we will uh, go for the Swords Dance, as my opponent will switch out into Landorus precisely, and we'll go for Iron Head, and hope we get a flinch, because that's the only thing that'll save us. Uh, we do take some Rocky Helmet and Life Orb, he, we do not get the flinch, and that is going to knock out our Excadrill right here. Uh, we can now go into Latias, and I think just uh, go for a Draco Meteor. We are max speed, so that's quite nice. Just going to drop it right here. Uh, he only has one good switch being Azumarill, but Azumarill is in Psy Shock range as well. Uh, we do not have Life Orb, we have Leftovers, but that should be okay. Uh, this is actually better against Manectric, uh, now that I'm looking at it, because it has a lot of HP and whatnot, so... Uh, Landorus is gonna go down right there, to Latias, and, uh, I think that this is our only way to win right here, is this Latias, so... Let's sack off our Titar, right now, as he goes for a Shadow Ball, that's fine. And uh, we'll go into Garchomp, and what I kind of want to do is set up rocks, because then, well, no, not really. That doesn't accomplish much. Let's just, let's just go for the Draco Meteor, as he's just going to go for another Shadow Ball. It's going to do quite a bit of damage to us, not enough, though. And Gengar is going to go clean down right there. Latias is going to come in, and uh, we are going to click uh, Stealth Rocks, I think at this point, because he's faster than me anyway. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. He went for Healing Wish. Uh, we do have the Earthquake, which will do a tremendous amount to this Azumarill. We might, he might have actually just choked the game away right here, because you guys will see how much this is actually going to do. It, it knocks out his Azumarill clean, so that's uh, that's quite amazing, and our Latias should be able to take it ahead and power ice from this thing. I'm just going to go for another Quake. He's going to HP ice, and Draco should be able to finish it off, except we're not Life Orb, so let me just calc this up real quick. I want to see what my better play is, because if two Psy Shocks knock it out and Manectra can't take me out, then I'll definitely do that instead. 
versus this Ladia set. We have like 364 HP. Uh, OU defensive, 364. Yeah, this is the set. Uh, HP Ice does 29 to 31, and hold on a second. 364, 296. Uh, we can drop that down by one. Yeah, yeah, his HP Ice is doing nothing to us. How much is Psyshock doing? Psyshock is doing 39 to 43. So I'll go for the Psyshock first. As hidden power ice goes off, does absolutely nothing. Uh, and I don't even have to risk uh, going for Draco Meter right here. I can just Psyshock. And we're actually able to take that game. I thought we had choked that away. Uh, but uh, my opponent ended up choking by going for the Healing Wish, which is very nice. So I guess he didn't factor in Sand Force Earthquake from Garchomp. <laughs> That's uh, very nice. And uh, we'll move on to the next game. It's a pretty good team. We let a, a lot of our uh, walls take damage very early on. I probably should have gone into Excadrill a little bit sooner on the Azumarill. Uh, because it was locked into play rough, but uh, I didn't expect it to do that much Talamomola, honestly. That was insane damage. Now we got a Mega Deancey team. See, this is what I mean. Like, the blade would, would cream this guy. Destroy him. Anyway, uh, I think that... Hmm. I think that Titar is probably our best lead because of the Spedef boost. It'll be able to take on Deancey. He does lead off with Deancey. Very nice. Uh, I think... Stone Edge is just overall my best play. Yeah, I'm just going to Stone Edge right here as he's going to protect. And we'll go for another Edge. Moonblast will not be able to knock us out from here, super effective or not. And uh, we can get off a heavy hit on something on my opponent's team. He might even think we're Scarfed, uh, in which case he might go down to this. So he is going to switch out. He's going to go directly into Lando. This is a Banded Edge at minus one, but we do not connect, unfortunately. And that means my opponent is going to be able to get up rocks. So I'm going to go into Tangrowth right here as uh, the Stealth Rocks go off. We don't have any hazard removal on this team. Oh, no, we do. We have Latias. What am I talking about? Um, I could just go for a Leech Seed right here. I think it's my best play. He's going to take Rocky Helmet damage. Um, I'm assuming Talonflame is going to come in here. I could just Rock Slide, but anyway. Let's see. Um, I don't expect Deancey to come in, being perfectly honest. Um, as Klefki comes in. Okay, that's fine, too. He might start spike stacking us, but that's okay. Uh, I actually want to get off some solid damage on this. He's going to go for a Toxic. That's absolutely fine. We're going to get off a pretty good chunk of damage right there. We're not going to take Sand that turn, so that's going to cancel out Toxic. And what we'll do is we'll go into Latias. <coughs> as my opponent actually goes into Talonflame, so that works out. <coughs> Excuse me. As uh, now what we're going to do is defog these rocks away. My opponent goes for a Swords Dance. Absolutely fine. Uh, we are not max defense, uh, but we might be able to take this. I'm just going to go into Allo, honestly. Allo is my best play. As Braver goes off, does a lot of damage, but he takes a crap ton of recoil in the process. And what we'll do is we'll go into Titar right here. As uh, I'm expecting a Roost, but nope, Brave Bird goes off. All right, cool. So he's going to take recoil. Plus that extra little bit of sand damage, and now we will... Do we need Alamomola for anything? No, it gets beaten by pretty much everything. Yeah, he has a Rotom, he has a uh, Mega Deancey. Yeah, let's just go back into uh, Allo right here, as Brave Bird is going to finish this off. However, this Talonflame is now gone, we don't need to deal with it. And uh, I think Excadrill is probably my best play. Uh, that or Tangrowth. Tangrowth's pretty solid overall. Yeah, I'm going to go into Tangrowth. As uh, the Landorus does come in, and we can just go for a nice Giga Drain right here, get off some solid damage on this thing, put it in range of two Iron Heads from Excadrill, Life Orb Drill, and uh, I'm expecting the U-Turn right here, but I'm just going to go for another Giga Drain, that or Earthquake, honestly. U-Turn is going to deal a little bit more damage to this Lando, and uh, hopefully goes Deancey expecting the Leech Seed, that would be really cool. As uh, Deancey is going to come in on my Giga Train, it's going to take a, a heck of a lot of damage right there. That's really nice. And uh, I can't go straight into Excadrill, unfortunately. Everything on this team is very weak, man. Um, or, or nearly everything. Can I take one Moonblast? I don't think I can. Not from a Mega Deancey, right? Deancey. Mega. Versus Tangrowth. Physically defensive. Uh, are you defensive? Nope, that's not it. Tangrowth. Oh, you defensive. There we go. Uh, yeah, Moonblast is a guaranteed knockout, which is a little bit annoying. Which means I have to sack something here, or or what I could do. 
This tank growth is still extremely important. Like, it beats the Rotom, it beats the Lando 1v1. It beats the, uh, the Clef Key as well because of Leech Seed. So, what do I need the least? The thing is, if I go Drill here, I just have to sack Titar the turn right after, and then I'm limited to a few Sand turns. So that's a little bit annoying. I could always risk the Speed Tie with this thing, with Latias. But I don't really want to do that. Ah, oh, why can't we be... Smooth Rock. I guess Bandit's better. Hitting that Stone Edge turn one would have really been nice. Because this th that Lando would have been gone, I would have been able to sack, sack my Tangrowth right here. Uh, do I need Guard Chomp for anything? Realistically, Guard Chomp is my best sack, actually. It doesn't do much against my opponent's team. He's gonna go for Protect, though. Okay. Does not see an item, so he might think that we're Scarfed. Uh, let's go for Quake. He goes for Protect, so I think he thinks we're Scarfed. Let's go for another Quake. Yeah, he switches out. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So, now what we're gonna do is we're going to set up some Stealth Rocks. As he goes for a will -O wisp and now we're going to catch this thing off guard by going for a Mega Evolved Draco Meteor to damage it, which is awesome. We kept our Tangrowth alive, Garchomp is still alive, we buff the Scarf. That's what you need to do sometimes, you just need to, to make your opponent think that you're one set when you're actually something else. It's going to go for a Hydro Pump right there, it's going to do a little bit of damage. What I want to do is prevent him from Pain Splitting, uh, at the same time preventing Deancey from coming in. So I'm just going to go for a Quake right here as Klefki actually comes in on my Quake, which is really nice. This thing is going straight down. Rotom is weakened. Deancey is uh, sitting under 50%. Excadrill is more than likely a Scarf variant. Lando is weakened down to 31%. Uh, it, is, it is also, excuse me, I stuttered there. Uh, it is also slower than my Garchomp right here, so Lando is going clean down. And this means that uh, Excadrill wins. So he's going to bring in his Drill. Absolutely fine. What we'll do is we'll go into this thing is mold breaker, right? Yeah, it is uh, We will sack Garchomp because we don't need it. He's gonna go for a rapid spin get rid of our rocks That's absolutely fine. I didn't need my rocks up anymore realistically and uh, He's now locked into I mean more than likely locked into rapid spin unless he's a max speed variant so what I can actually do is go into I Can go into Titar here if I want to uh, or Latias. Latias isn't bad but I want to go into Titar, and the reason being that I can spam Crunch because his Deancey is so low. And that should be fine. Yeah, I'm going to go for Crunch right here. As uh, Rotom is going to come in, that is going to go clean down. And uh, now it all comes down to how many Sand turns I have. So Excadrill is going to come in. It's going to get a kill. Actually, no, it's not. We're going to, ta to Tangrowth right here. <laughs> Absolutely, 100% of the time. Uh, as Earthquake comes out, yeah, that's not going to do anything to me. And I'm going to go for the Giga Drain right here. It catches the Deancey. It also weakens this Excadrill. It's a shame the Tangrowth is poison because this would take a lot longer to kill. Otherwise, 40%. Uh, nice damage. I'll take it. And uh, now we can just go for another Giga Drain. Uh, it's perfectly fine. Yeah, another Giga Drain is fine. Earthquake is going to go off. That's fine. We're going to hit up another Giga Drain. We actually crit my opponent, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I don't think it mattered because basically my game plan here at this point was to um, sack off Tangrowth. And then uh, what I was going to do was go into Latias and click Psyshock to prevent the Deancey from coming in. Deancey would come in after. He would have to win a speed tie with Latias. And uh, then it all came down to... Um, to setting up sand again and then getting drill in and how many um, consecutive protects that my opponent could get. So we're going to go into Lottie here uh, because that forces my opponent to attack, which allows my T-Tar to come in, set up sand without having to worry about uh, wasting a turn of it. So there goes the Moonblast. And now we go into drill and we have four turns to connect an Earthquake. Uh, his only play is to protect multiple times. And even at that, I'm not sure if Earth Power would be able to knock us out clean. Um, he has to hit so many protects. But yeah, that's going to be a, uh, a dead Deancey. And that is game two to us. Awesome. So let's move on to, into the next one. We might be able to keep this to a little bit of a shorter episode. Hopefully 21 minutes. I'm going to keep it to three battles. Uh, because I don't want to make it too, too long. Let's just see where we're at, actually. Let me open up the lobby here and type in slash rank. Oh, we can do it in game. Awesome. Uh, rank... Where are we on the OU suspect test ladder? Wow, I dropped insanely. Okay, 1197. Uh, I don't even think that's top 500. That's really uh, 
That's really pitiful. But my opponent has another Metacham, so uh, Tangrowth is always the lead uh, against... Okay, Starmie leads. This might be offensive Starmie. Uh, don't really want to chance it. Just going to go hard Alamomola. I don't want to take an Ice Beam from this. So, yeah. Let's just do that. If he goes for a Toxic, he goes for a Toxic. But he's actually going to switch out into Bisharp, which is not too bad. Uh, we're going to go for a Scald. As my opponent goes for a Swords Dance. Absolutely fine. Hopefully we can get a Burn. That would be cool. We do not. But uh, we'll just go for another Scald right here. There goes the knockoff. Take some Rocky Helmet damage. As uh, He's also Life Orb. Awesome. We're going to get off another Scald right here. And I'm assuming another knockoff is coming. Let me just protect to see what my opponent would do. Uh, as it is going to be knockoff, okay. So what we can do is we can actually uh, go into Garchomp to give him Rough Skin plus Life Orb. And then I can sack off Aloe if I want to. Um, that might be my play. Huh, let me think about this, hold on. So, yeah, let's, let's do that because knockoff won't do as much uh it's gonna do a lot obviously but it's not gonna do um enough to knock us out and then because i'm faster what i'm actually gonna do is just go for stealth rocks right here as he's gonna sucker punch and i have no reason not to click stealth rocks repeatedly as my opponent is just gonna attack me this turn that's fine knock out my garchomp i didn't need that anyway to be honest uh now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into tangrowth because tangrowth pretty much handles the rest of the team on its own uh, the fact that he switched out his Starmie turn one uh, indicates to me that he's pr more than likely not a uh, an offensive variant. Let's just go for the Sleep Powder right here, as High Jump Kick is going to come off. That's not going to be able to do enough to us, because he's going to take Rocky Helmet. It's going to get Sleep Powdered, and now we're going to go for a Giga Drain. And what we'll do on the following turn is switch out into Alamomola uh, to get our Regenerator on both Mons. And uh, I'm going to double back out into Tangrowth after to give him some extra Rocky Helmet. He's going to stay asleep, luckily. And uh, we'll go back into Tangrowth right here. As my opponent does wake up, goes for a Thunder Punch, is going to take uh, another Rocky Helmet hit. And uh, that should put him in range of dying from Giga Drain. He's going to go for a High Jump Kick, not crit us, luckily. And Tangrowth is still alive after the Giga Drain. So that's quite nice. Manaphy is now going to come in. This thing is a little bit annoying. Let's, uh, let's go hard Lottie. I'm okay with that. I don't want Tangrowth to go straight down. That's only going to do 39%, luckily. We're going to go for a Psy Shock right here. It's going to do the most damage uh, to anything that wants to come in, except for Dragonite, of course. Starmie is going to be the one to come in right here. It's going to take a decent hit. Uh, we do not see Leftovers. Hmm. That's quite interesting. Okay, I know my opponent's going to want to spin. So what can I do about that? I can go into Tangrowth to give him the Rocky Helmet damage on the Rapid Spin, which is nice. And uh, then what I can do, he is Life Orb, okay. So we're gonna switch back out into Alamomola on the Ice Beam. As there it is, beautiful, as predicted. And uh, dual Life Orbers, wow. Uh, let's go for the Wish. And uh, Manaphy is gonna come in here, awesome. And we will Wish Pass this into, do I wanna Wish Pass this actually? Or do I just want to get rid of this thing's item? I want to get rid of this thing's item. We're going to go for the uh, for the knockoff right here. Get rid of its leftovers. And then what we'll do is on the energy ball, I think we go into Latias. I can't really risk him going for the uh, for the ice beam, though, because that would knock out Lottie. And I need Lottie to win. Yeah, let's just go for, uh, for Wish right here. Energy ball is going to be able to knock us down pretty low, uh, but not enough to knock us out clean. And we'll just go for Protect right here, because I assume he's going to go for the... Uh, okay, he went for the, another Tail Glow. Wow. All right. Um, that's a little bit scary. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to Sack Titar, I believe. Yeah, we're going to Sack Titar, give him some Sand Damage. And he's going to go for an Energy Ball that's easily going to be able to take us out. I don't need Titar for anything. Keep in mind. Uh, let's go into Excadrill. And we'll click Earthquake. He's going to be tempted to stay in. Uh, and crit Earthquake. Okay, cool. So we get a little bit lucky there. Obviously, Earthquake wouldn't have done enough to knock out our opponent. Uh, but now it's pretty much the Tangrowth show right here. <laughs> this is going to be uh, pretty simple. Like, Rocky Helmet Tangrowth is so annoying. He's going to go for knockoff. That is going to be able to get rid of our Rocky Helmet, unfortunately. Uh, but now we just go for a Leech Seed on another knockoff. Going to be able to get our health back. Nope, we missed the Leech Seed. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll just go for another one. If he wants to go into Starmie, I mean, Alamomola is a pretty safe switch every time. And that thing is back alive now, so... 
<laughs> That's so annoying, man, I'm sure. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Giga Drain right here, as my opponent decides to go out into Starmie to give me some health back. Absolutely fine with that. Now, here's the problem. If this thing is a Lumberry set, <laughs> I may just lose here. Let's go for the Sleep Powder on the Dragon Dance, uh, as we actually miss, which is really unfortunate. Uh, we'll go for another Sleep Powder, as my opponent chooses to go for Outrage, which might work out for us. Hold up. Let's go for the Excadrill play. And we'll click Iron Head to break his uh, scale. That's almost going to knock us out. He does not get confused on this turn, which is a little bit annoying. I need Aloe to beat the... Um, this thing. <laughs> the Landorus. We'll click Iron Head again on the, on the next Outrage. He is going to get confused on this turn. He's not Lum, because that would have cured confusion. The item is still there. I'm assuming he's weakness policy. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, I think what I gotta do is play off some confusion. We're gonna go into Allo. We're going to click Wish. Uh, I can't see my opponent switching out here. It doesn't make much sense because then he's just giving me free Scalds. Okay, never mind. There it is, the Intimidate. Uh, we're gonna go for a Scald right here, as my opponent chooses to go for, let's see, I would assume Earthquake makes the most sense. However, if he goes for Earthquake and he is choiced as I'm thinking he is, uh, he goes for a knockoff, okay. That covers the Lottie, that makes sense. We're back up to full, we'll go for another Wish, as my opponent clicks knockoff again, and uh, we'll click Scald again. Gets a crit that turn, doesn't really matter, as we are able to leave the Lando at 1%, uh, we'll just go for another Wish right here. And then we'll go for another Scald. And basically, it's uh, whether or not we burn this thing. That's the only way we win, is if we can burn it. So we're gonna get the burn right there. Cool, awesome. So we should be able to clutch this out as long as he's not a rest variant. Let's go for the Wish. He's gonna go for another D-Dance, as uh, we should be okay. Let's actually, because if he clicks rest, right? I'm thinking he's rest for some reason. He's gonna Dragon Dance again, okay. That's fine, we're gonna go for another Scald. Uh, Burn is going to bring him down pretty low. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click... Hmm. No, no, I just Scald again. He's gonna Outrage, yeah, that's not gonna do enough. I figured he wouldn't be rest, like that's a little bit of a ridiculous set if you're rest. <laughs> like, <laughs> really? Why was I even thinking that? That's actually not bad, though. That would be a really innovative set to, like, set up on, on really bulky mons like this, like Rotom and whatnot. Just run a, a Dragon Dance Outrage um, E-Speed Rest set, and that could, like, shatter the meta. <laughs> That'd be really cool. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to use this team alongside me, I will just go over it really quickly for you. I might even leave a paste bin in the description, not sure yet, but uh, we got Mega Garchomp here, here's the EV spread, got Titar, Banded, Latias, Defensive, which came in clutch against that Manectric, we got Tangrowth, Rocky Helmet, number one, then we got Alamomola, Rocky Helmet, number two, and finally we have Excadrill as our Sand Rush Sweeper. So, able to clutch out three wins today, very, uh, very nice. I'm going to keep trying to uh, ladder up with this team a little bit, going to get my coil up to where it needs to be to vote for ban or no ban. If you guys are wondering, and I don't want to influence your vote at all, um, I will probably vote ban because I like the way the meta is without Mega Sableye around. Uh, it's not a broken Pokemon in no way, shape, or form, but I'd prefer not having to play against it. That's not really a reason for something to be banned. Logically, it has to be broken and unhealthy for the metagame, uh, but it's kind of like Gothitelle. Gothitelle isn't, un isn't broken on its own, but paired up with Stall, it was really annoying, and I feel the same way with Me with Mega Sableye, like not being able to get up hazards against Stall uh, and be able to, to, to have an effective strategy of spike stacking them um, makes it a lot harder to play against because there's always that Sableye there and you always have to click U-turn instead of Stealth Rock so it's it's a little bit obnoxious but um, I don't know I might change my vote from here till then but uh, that's that's just the way I see it and that's gonna uh, wrap it up again guys uh, leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys later ciao